I was done with the football talk, but as I expressed to you guys, football's never done. Football, it's the king. I'm going to talk about it all the time because they own the off season. Uh, so what I was thinking about is actually in season play, though. Um, my buddy, the guy I listen to, the guy that has kind of influenced me in this industry, Mr. Colin Coward, I'm a huge fan. He talked about uh, the changing of the guard in, in sports, about, uh, you know, football is a passing league and all of this good jazz and the old saying that, you know, this saying is archaic of uh, offense wins games, defense wins championships. That's archaic. It's archaic. Is it? Is it, Colin? I could go back and bring up examples of, you know, where this is wrong. I'm not going to. But I will start in, you know, the 2000 era where we had, you know, I'm not even going to start with the 2000-2010 where we had uh, New England that won with defense. Uh, the Indianapolis Colts finally won when they got a defense. The Steelers only won when they had defense. Uh, the Ravens, I think they had some pretty good defenses. But then the game changed, you know, I would say around 2010, 2011. But from that point on, when you say, well, it's a passing league. Yeah, okay, you need passing. But let's think about it. Let's think about the champions. <laughs> The Green Bay Packers, Aaron Rodgers wins one Super Bowl when he has a great defense. The Denver Broncos had Peyton Manning for four years. Three years they were an off offensive juggernaut. One year they were a great defensive team. Guess what year they won? The New England Patriots went 10 years without winning. And why did they win? Because they rebuilt their defense. They won in the early 2000s because of their defense. Not just because of Tom and because of uh, Bill. Because of their defense. He lost all his guys. Richard Seymour, Teddy Bruschi. He gets good defensive players back. He wins. Look at this year. The Tampa Bay Buccaneers with the second best quarterback. Absolutely steamrolled the Kansas City Chiefs with the better offense. Because they had a defense. <laughs> and a running game. The biggest example against my point is the year before when the Chiefs beat the Niners. An offensive team beat a running game and a defensive team. Except for three and a half quarters, the Niners were by far the better team. And the only reason the Chiefs had a chance to win was because some running back I've never heard of. If you guys can help me with the name, that'd be great. Williams, I don't know who he was. <laughs> he kept them in the game. And guess who else did? Their defense. I know it's a passing league. I understand quarterbacks are important. But to sit there and tell me that passing is the way of the is the way to win championships. No, it's not. Defense is pretty important. Running the ball is pretty important. Just like passing. I think to other sports. Uh, hockey. Everybody keeps telling me skill, skill, skill. That's all you need. The last three teams that won the Stanley Cup. Big, strong, heavy. Basketball. Oh, who won the championship last year? The Lakers, with like four seven-footers on their team. Nobody could score on them. But what about the Golden State Warriors before them? Uh, the Golden State Warriors had great shooters. And also, sneaky, one of the best defenses in the league. You know, Andre Godala, Defensive Player of the Year. Klay Thompson, Defensive Player of the Year. The one year they lost was because of injuries. And the Raptors. A defensive team. <laughs> we have so many examples. Back to football, though. It, everybody keeps telling me that the sports are changing, and the regular season looks a lot different. But come playoff time, come championship time, it's the same. Everything keeps changing, but things keep going the same, it seems to me. Now, I'm not saying you don't need a, a quarterback to win. A franchise quarterback, I've argued, is essential. You can't win without one. If you don't have one, you're missing the biggest piece of all. The, la the top, the, the quarterbacks in the final four, I would argue, were four of the five best quarterbacks this year. But to tell me that the other stuff doesn't matter, it's wrong. It's balance. Balance is the key to life. It's the key to sports. It's the key to winning. You need balance. Just ask Patty Mahomes.